out the gold in the rest of the space. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. Take a look at the kitchen. I have my Dyson right here, my air purifier. Um, right here is the pantry. I can show it to y'all. It's not really a lot. Um, yeah, we're gonna close that right back up because stuff in there still needs to be situated. Um, yes, I think this is all for the kitchen. So turning to the living room, the area, the living space. Um, this is my desk, clearly, as you can see. I've decorated it um, a little bit. I have some photos of me and my friends. I need to get some more printed. Um, family, um, RIP to Robert, miss him, my nephew. Um, I got some of this little stuff right here. Um, yeah, my laptop. Everybody. And they house need to have one of these things. Because I have one of these so people don't eat on my table. And for me to eat on my couch and like not have to eat up there at the island, I got one of these to eat on. That box needs to be moved, but it's decorations um, that I need to DIY and put together. I got my robot um, right here. I think that I'm going to buy another one of these. I got this from at home. They had a bigger one, and I'm going to be able to put, my, put it down here so I could put my laptop and all of that stuff in there. Um, when I'm not working just so the space stays clean and then the living room the living room right here y'all this is my favorite part of the house um I got this couch from my friend Amanda I got these um pillows from at home all these pillows came from at home um my wall frames um the frames came from at home that middle thing came from Big lots, I think. I got my mirror. Uh, that came from Walmart. My table came from Amazon. I ordered two, but I ended up sending one back because I was going to put them together to make it bigger, but I didn't need that um, after I found the space. I got this rug from at home. Um, y'all already seen the Christmas decorations, but I'll show y'all again. Um, here's my Christmas tree again. Um, as y'all seen me put up the other day, my TV stand, uh, these are the gold, um, handles that I added in, um, because I, the silver ones I didn't like, I added this little decoration, I got that from Burlington, I got that little face thing from Shein, actually, I spray painted those books, and I spray painted this glass thing that I got from Dollar Tree, I, I got the books from Dollar Tree too, um, few little other decorations I put this together the other day just to really make the room like pop a little bit I wanted a vase um I got the I got that vase from Burlington and I got those stems from TJ Maxx um okay now that is the living room Tell me what y'all think so far leave a comment down below like what y'all thinking of the place I still have like to add a chair right here for my desk. And I think that's really it for in here because I don't want to overcrowd the space. Um, yeah, I feel like this is like the center and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Like y'all, I have been buying stuff for months, really. And I'm just so happy that when I bought it all, I didn't know how it was gonna come together, but it came together. I stuck to the scheme, all of it worked out. I really didn't know how it was gonna work out, but it really did work out. And I'm really, really happy with the space. Of course, I gotta add some more photos and my things, but that's really it for, you know, the living room and the kitchen. I really feel like it's really done. Like, honestly, and I only been in this bitch a week and a half, and I told y'all the only reason why I hadn't really showed y'all the space yet was because I didn't have a TV stand, and I didn't want to just show y'all, like, an incomplete. I wanted to give it to y'all right if I was going to give it to y'all. So, okay, let's go into my bedroom. Let me close this door. Okay, so y'all ready for the bedroom? So, this is the bedroom. Let me turn the light on. So... My bedroom is giving very much, what's it, boho chic, um, as what they say. B put my TV, y'all, damn near on the ceiling. But, you know, I'm going to get him to bring it down so we can, you know, bring it down. Because when I be laying down, baby, my neck be hurting. So, this is my bed. I got my bed frame from Amazon. I got my, uh, this 
this duvet i got it from amazon i got my duvet insert from amazon i been had this uh blanket um i got these decorations i got all of these from um burlington except the last one i got it from at home um no i got this from yeah i did get that from burlington and i got that from burlington um i got these um what are these dressers from target so these are two separate dressers i pushed them together but i really didn't care about keeping them together because i think they're totally fine um they did not come with um handles so i ended up buying these handles from home depot and they look and they're the same ones as the ones that's on the tv stand um yeah i got some lights up there i don't really think y'all can tell because of the the lighting in here is kind of weird but i got like lights up here um i got these um curtains from walmart and big lots um i got i told y'all that thing i got for my sister um i got that painting from big lots it was only like 20 bucks these pillows, these extra additional pillows, two of them came from, no, all of them came from at home. Um, and so I have this little space over here, just like an extra little space that I had. I been had this um, bench. I been had it. I added the pillows on top, added like a mirror to give it something in the space. Um, I got this nightstand which was perfect i was gonna order one from amazon but i got this nightstand which was perfect from burlington for forty dollars um i got this lamp from hmm where did i get that lamp from oh bed bath and beyond it was on sale for twelve dollars i got these drink coasters i wish i would have got the larger ones from she in this is the pot that i'm gonna replant um she's dying a little bit on the side because my room being cold and those plants don't thrive in the room so i think i'm gonna move it or i'm gonna have to figure out i think when i repot it the plant gonna come back to life though so i feel good about it um yeah and this is my room it's really simple like i wanted to keep it simple and clean but it feels so homey to me my bed feels really really good um yeah and i'm just really happy with how the room came out tell me what y'all think of the room like what? like it's not giving like too girly it's really just like perfect but it definitely gives boho chic glam because i'm a glamorous bitch i'm a glamorous bitch um boho chic glam is what the room is so i have the bathroom left and i think that that is it so I got this little thing from, this was so pretty. I got this from at home and I really hate that it's not in a better spot in the house, but I didn't really have anywhere to put it. But this thing right here is just so dang on cute. Um, this is the bathroom. Hey y'all, period. <laughs> so period, so big cabinet space, tons and tons of cabinet space for me. I got this full length mirror. My dad put that full length mirror for me. I think I vlogged that actually. Um, I got tons of cabinet space. Here's just the countertop. I kept what I had from my last apartment. I didn't change it at all because I didn't really feel the need to change it. Um, I got my little perfumes right there. I need to refill with my um cotton pads. It's just stuff for the bathroom in there. I'm not gonna show that. Um, I added these little additions. B got me this um motivation every day. Read it um put these up had these had this in my bedroom and i had this in my bedroom too but i as y'all can see i ended up putting it in here um just the toilet um this is the shower the shower curtain i got this from at home on sale it was like ten dollars and i got the shower liner from dollar tree i vlogged that this is the bathtub really 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 big like it's a really big bathtub um i don't have a shower caddy so all of my stuff is just sitting on like the cute thing that's supposed to be decorative but it's fine um yeah i'm not gonna show y'all my closet because i'm doing a whole i'm doing a whole one two three one two three four five six on the back on the closet i'm not gonna show y'all the closet it's gonna be i'm gonna redo that whole thing and it's gonna look fire when i get done but i'm gonna vlog the process with y'all and everything so it should be fine. So, give me one second and I'll be right back in the next clip. All right, y'all. So, 
have to, you know, be be real honest and frank right here because, y'all, it was a lot. This was, like, me even getting this apartment, the reason why I had to get the apartment, the reason why I felt like it was time for me to move on, it was just a lot. There was a lot going on. I was very, I was going through so much mentally Family-wise, it was just a lot. So, for me to be in here right now, it's just like, it just feels so freaking good. Like, it feels so good to be like, this is mine. Like, all of this, this is my stuff. And it really, like, didn't even set in in the beginning because it was just like, I really can't believe that I just kind of just did it because I wasn't planning to, but it just happened and the way that God just worked that thing on out. Because when I say he worked it out, I literally mean like even how I got this apartment because the way I got it is just such a blessing because God knew it was like only one apartment left with what I needed. And it was like, God was like, this is for you. So it was like, and it's in the location that I wanted. I'm close to my friends. I'm still close to a lot of stuff. Like I feel great in this new space like I feel like I needed this new space I feel like it was time for a shift in my life and I have been saying it I've been saying it for a while like I feel like something needed to change and I didn't know that it was going to be my literal surroundings but it was and I'm just so thankful that God really carried me carried me all this way because I wanted to give up like I didn't know what I was going to do it was just a lot but I I knew that he was going to help me make it through. I, I knew I couldn't have did it without him. So I really want to thank the big man upstairs. I really, really appreciate him. And I really appreciate my family and my friends, like my sister, my boyfriend, my mom, like my grandma, like everybody, like all of my brother, like all of them. Like I really do appreciate them for just pouring into me and just wanting me to be my best self. Dang. <sighs> okay. So, dang, dang, okay, whew, pull it together. It was just a lot, and I don't think people be knowing because it's just like, I just keep going, like, I don't really let a lot of shit show on the outside because for what, but the second part is, like, even your strongest soldiers, they need help too, they need, they need somebody too, they need their support too, and I just thank my friends, Maya, both of the Mayas, Gigi, Casmin, Amanda, like, <laughs> Amanda, damn, girl, you came through. Like, all of my friends, like, I, like, Monta like I, I mean, all of y'all, like, really, I don't want to, I don't want to say everybody because I don't want to forget because it's, it's really so many of y'all, but I'm just so thankful to have everybody in my life that I got in my life. I'm thankful for the way that things worked out. I'm thankful for God just placing me here, having the mind for me to be here, putting me in the position to be here. I thank him for the people at my job. Like, the people at my job are just so freaking supportive. It's crazy. I ain't never had people that I feel like I would literally fight for at work. Like, li literally fight for. And I'm just so freaking thankful. Um, Let me make sure I'm not missing nobody because I know it might be somebody that I'm missing and I don't want to forget nobody. Oh, fuck. Chelsea and Madison. I can't forget my two. My two Austin Boone Coons. Like, and they stay close to me now. So now I'm just like, it just feels so good. Um, and I'm so thankful. And I just really thank God. So, lastly, I'm going to give a shout out to my fucking self. What Snoop Dogg said? Lastly, shout outs to me. Shouts out to my fucking self for staying consistent, not letting the trials and tribulations that I was going through bring me down to a point to where I feel like I couldn't get out of it. And I really do just, you know, give myself a fucking pat on the back because all this shit, I ain't gonna lie, my boyfriend helped me. Yeah. But all this shit, I bought all this shit. I've been saving. A bitch went and got another job just so I could support that. Like, I really did this shit, bitch. Bitch, I did this shit. I did this shit. I did this shit. Bitch, I motherfucking did it. So, glass to myself. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pop the bottle for myself. I was saving this bottle. This is like a two hundred dollar bottle. Um, it's by Ferrari. I got this from when I worked at F One and they was giving them out. 
But I got to pop this for myself because, bitch, you deserve it. I deserve a congratulations. Um, and I, I'm popping this for everybody else, all of my supporters. Like, y'all don't even know. I wake up some days. I see y'all comments. Bro, that shit just lift my spirits. Like, the words of encouragement and the way that y'all really feel like y'all really know me and want to help me and want me to be my best self. The support is sometimes, it's great. It just baffles me. I'm like, these people that I don't know, that don't know much about me, but I want to learn more, continue to want to see me be great. It's just, I'm so thankful. So I'm popping this bottle for all of us, baby. This ain't just for me. I'm popping it for all of us. Um, This is a special occasion. And I saved this for a special occasion. And I'm really, I'm just... I just feel whole again. Like, I feel like I needed this to just make me feel like I'm doing good. Like, I'm doing right. Like, you you in the right direction. Because I felt really stagnant for a while. And and I feel like this is showing me that even when you don't see the works day by day, month by month, it happens over time. Like, where I was at last year, where I was at the year before last, where I was at the year before. It's just like, it has all been a progression to get me here. No matter the mistakes I made, the smart decisions I made, it all led me to here. So, shouts out. Shouts the freak out. I'm not going to shake it because I don't want to clean it. But, woo! oh my God. I just feel like a damn release over my whole body. But, I got to pour it up. Goodness. I want to thank y'all. I want to thank my family. I want to thank my friends. I want to thank my loved ones. I want to thank everybody around me that has just continued to help and support me. And I really do appreciate y'all. And this is not just for me. This is for all of us. I hope all of us go in the direction that God wants us to go. I hope we all feel fulfilled and satisfied in life. I hope we all make the best out of it. And I just hope we continue to be great and push towards the right thing. You are never alone. Somebody is always there for you. If anybody can help, if I can help in any way, please let me know. Please reach out. This is for y'all. This is for all of us. Cheers, y'all. And I'm going to end the vlog right here. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. Because I hadn't really just had a moment to sit and just really just spurt all of that out. So that really came from the heart. And I'm just, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really hope y'all continue to support me and all of the efforts that I'm making. And I just thank y'all a lot. Cheers, dude.